On a lovely summer morning, a duck sat on her eggs, looking longingly at the river. Sitting on the eggs all day is a tiresome job, the duck thought. She wished she could swim in the glorious river. She chatted with the bullfrogs. She watched a stork pass by. The mother duck wished she could go for a walk like the stork, but she had to mind her eggs. She decided not to move until the eggs hatched. Crack! Ah, oh, my first baby! The duck quacked in delight. Out came a tiny duckling with soft feathers and tiny eyes. Peep, peep! The duckling walked all around her mother. The duck watched her duckling in delight. Crack, crack! Ah,、oh, more babies! cried the duck. As one after the other, the eggs broke. The ducklings ambled around everywhere. An old duck came by. What pretty little ducklings you have! She said. The mother duck nodded proudly. They are handsome, aren't they? They take after their father. What about that one? It hasn't hatched yet. Asked the old duck. Let me take a look. It's a big egg. The old duck pecked and tossed the egg, but nothing happened. You know what? This looks like a turkey's egg. Throw it away before it's too late," said the old duck. I had one in my nest once. I tried and tried to make the bird swim with my others, but it wouldn't come with us. After all the trouble I took hatching it, the ungrateful bird waddled away. I never saw it again. The mother duck thought about it. Oh well, I've sat on it for a long time. Let me see if it hatches by tomorrow. Do as you wish. Nobody listens to good advice these days," said the old duck. She went away quacking crossly. Soon after the old duck left, the big egg hatched. Out came a large and ugly duckling. The mother duck was astonished. It doesn't look like the other ducklings. Maybe the old duck was right. It must be a turkey. But I'm going to make it swim, whether it likes it or not. Once upon a time, there lived a mother duck who has been sitting patiently on her clutch of eggs. As you can imagine, sitting on the eggs for a long time was tiresome. It is such a tough task sitting on the eggs for a whole month. Fortunately, my friend Stork sometimes visits me often and shares interesting stories. He also knows the Egyptian language quite well. Exactly. Did you know that hieroglyphs are used in the Egyptian language? A hieroglyph is like a picture that can mean a word. Wow, that is fascinating. Shall we play a game? The rules are quite. The next day, the mother duck took all of the ducklings for a swimming lesson. She watched the big duckling waddle along. He jumped straight into the water, much to her surprise. Splash! He's not a turkey after all, thought the mother duck. She was relieved. After a good swim, she called her ducklings together. Listen, my babies, we're going to the farmyard now. It'll be a special treat for you. You'll meet all the farm animals. Remember to be on your best behaviors. The little ducks weren't listening. They rushed into the farmyard and ran here and there until the mother duck called out again. This time she sounded stern. Stay close to me to keep out of the way of the cows. Don't go anywhere close to the cats, as they fight and like to gobble up little ducklings. Said the mother duck. Cheep cheep. The ducklings shivered in fright. They tagged close behind the mother duck. In the distance, she saw a big duck with red ribbons around her feet. Look here. I want you to bend your head, bow low, and say quack politely to that duck over there. She is a very special duck," the mother duck said. The obedient ducklings did as they were told. The big duck looked at them with scorn. Another brood of these noisy little ones. There's not going to be a moment's peace in this farm," said the duck. "I say, what an absolutely ugly duckling you've got there!" The ugly duckling hid itself in shame. He might not look dashing like the others, but he's a good little duckling," the mother duck said. He listens to everything I say and also swims well. But the big duck wasn't even listening. The mother duck took her ducklings along to meet the others. Now. The little ducklings started noticing how ugly their brother was. Move away from me! cried one. Don't come near me! Another one said. None of the farm animals were kind to him either. The ugly duckling felt lonely and sad. 
he tucked his head under his wing and stayed close to Mother Duck. The Mother Duck felt really bad. Poor thing. Everybody is giving you a hard time, she said to the little duck. It made the ugly duckling feel worse. As the days went by, the teasing only got worse. The mother duck could no longer help the ugly duckling. So, one evening, when nobody was looking, the ugly duckling ran away. He knew that nobody would miss him. Mother duck, with her brood, reaches the farmyard. She is eager to introduce her ducklings to everyone, especially the old duck. Hey, everybody, look. We have a few new additions to our farm. Come on, ducklings. Greet our old duck here. She is the most respected one in our yard. You've got to try again. That sounds like how the piglets oink. No, kids, that's how dogs bark. No, that's a kitten's meow. Good job. Now that's how ducklings greet elders. Your kids are wonderful. Hmm. Except that one with the long neck. He is wonderful, too. You really should see how he swims. Well... You may be right, but isn't he too different from the others? Can you look for some different... ...with a big head? I don't think he belongs here. Why do you say that? He's a very nice little duckling. Well, I guess I probably don't belong here. He walked on for a long time and reached a big moor. The purple heather looked glorious. The ugly duckling was enjoying the beauty and silence, but all of a sudden, there were loud quacks. He turned around and spotted a bunch of wild ducks. Hey, look at this fellow, one wild duck said. He looks terrible. Don't think you can tag along with us. The ugly duckling was upset. Of course, he had no plans to go along with the wild ducks. All he wanted to do was lie among the rushes, look for food and go swimming. Pop! Boom! The hunters! cried the wild ducks and flew away at once. The dogs and the hunters looked around for ducks and geese. One dog ran close to the ugly duckling and grabbed it. But when it saw how ugly the duckling looked, the dog let the duckling go. For once, the duckling was glad that he was ugly. After the hunters left, the duckling went in search of a safer spot. Soon, he found a cottage along the way. There were large raindrops falling from the sky, and it looked as if there was going to be a storm. He went inside and found a plump woman with a cat on her lap and a hen perched on her shoulder. When she saw the duckling, she welcomed him inside and fed him well. But the cat and hen weren't happy. They wanted the cottage all for themselves. Do you know how to lay eggs? Asked the hen. No, I can't lay eggs, said the duckling. Can you make your hair stand at the end like this? Can you fight with the neighbor's dog? Asked the cat. No, I don't think so, the duckling answered. In that case, we advise that you leave the cottage soon. Our mistress hates useless creatures, said the unkind cat. Goodbye, the hen called out as the duckling went away. The duckling left the poultry yard. After wandering around for a long time, he reaches the hut where the cat and the hen live. They are the... The duckling traveled from one place to another. The leaves were no longer green. It was autumn, and the trees were full of beautiful yellow, orange and flaming red leaves. One evening, he saw a flock of birds in the sky. They were snow white, with beautiful wings that flapped gracefully. The ugly duckling couldn't believe that there were such beautiful birds in the world. How I wish I could become one of them, the duckling thought. Winter soon came, and the duckling, all alone by himself, tried his best to paddle on and find food. But one winter night, his legs froze in the icy pond. A peasant woman found the helpless duckling and saved him from the pond. 
She brought him inside the house, and the duckling enjoyed the warmth. But when he saw children running towards him, he flew away in fright. The duckling endured many difficulties all through the icy cold winter. But spring finally came, and he sat by the moor among the reeds. The duckling discovered that he was able to flap his wings. He watched in awe as three beautiful swans swam by. They glided gently over the water, and the duckling felt an ache in his heart. Let me fly towards the swans. It is better to be killed by them than to be pursued by ducks or beaten up by fowls and hated by everyone. He thought. As he flew close to them, he bent his head down in shame. He was surprised when he saw his reflection in the water. He was no longer an ugly, loathsome, and clumsy duckling. He was a beautiful swan, and he looked as noble and graceful as the other swans close by. It was almost like magic. His wish had come true. When the swans flew past him, he joined them. The other swans looked at him with special respect. They bowed their heads low. He felt sad, yet happy deep inside. He wondered why all the creatures had treated him so badly, just because he was ugly. He did not understand why the swans bowed to him simply because he was a beautiful young swan. But he knew that all the scorn and mockery had made him strong at heart. He was not afraid of anyone. Ugly Duckling has been hiding in the reeds for a long time. He is completely exhausted. Poor bird. We need to feed him. Together, the swans flew gracefully and landed in a garden. Little children came running to look at them. Oh, what lovely birds! Said the little girl. The children threw bread and cake crumbs for the swans. The children's mother and father soon arrived. They watched the swans for a while. The new one over there. The children's father pointed. He is the most handsome of all. As the sun shone bright and the flowers rustled in the breeze, the swan decided that life was good after all. He rustled his feathers and curved his gentle neck. He cried in joy as his heart filled up with happiness. I never dreamt that I'd be so happy one day. He thought. I'll not be called an ugly duckling anymore.